finding a place to sit was only difficult because there are so many spots to choose from inside the Japan Airlines First Class Lounge at Tokyo Haneda. The lounge looks well equipped to handle larger crowds with a good variety of seating for more typical loungers to ottoman equipped seats with a view. If you're grabbing pre-flight lunch on your own or with a colleague, there's a bright open area of cafe style seating and even some greenery to stare at while you eat. We missed it, but you'll enjoy teppanyaki style breakfast or dinner if you're here at the right times. The rest of the spread is decent too, with time of day appropriate meal options like our small but tasty sampling of sushi and fried rice from the buffet. Jell seems to be aware that their first class passengers are workaholics or spoiled kids with an Instagram account to update, so the Wi-Fi is reasonably speedy and there doesn't appear to be a seat without a power outlet for charging up your devices. And if it's top secret stuff you're working on, hop into one of these little hideaways. Or you can go office space style with a workstation in the small business center. One of our favorite parts of the lounge is the Red Suite a windowless but luxurious separate area sectioned into rooms for pouring featured wine, champagne, and sake, getting a shoeshine or flipping through a book, playing a quick game of fancy foosball or chess, or just lounging among some cool JAL flight memorabilia. The Red Suite is a great quiet space for the sunlight-averse airline nerd or anyone who needs shiny shoes for the flight. A good shine is nothing if you're not in order yourself, so clean up in one of the dark but calming shower suites. It's not the most luxurious, and certainly not the largest lounge shower we've seen, but nice enough for a quick cleanup. Thanks for watching. In the full text, I'll get into the sort of uneven level of service and get more into why we're big fans of this JAL International First Class Lounge. At Tokyo Haneda, I'm Jake Redman from Odd Hop.